you guys uncomfortable all right guys uh we'll talk about this maybe we'll talk about it when we got your mail or maybe we'll never talk about it ever again <laughs> Maybe we'll all adopt an accent. And for this next segment, let's all pick an accent. We Talking through the accents. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. All right. Let's save us from, the, from this one. What's the next topic? Got you. Uh, during the Christmas holiday weekend, the two main films on everyone's radar were Pixar and Disney's Soul and Warner Brothers' Wonder Woman 1984. Many people before seeing either were extremely excited to see the Amazon princess uh, Gal Gadot, uh, directed by Patty Jenkins, but as mixed reviews came out, the attention started to shift back towards uh, Disney Plus since most of the reviews for its latest release were more positive. Rotten Tomatoes currently has Wonder Woman 84 at 62% critic uh, positive rating. Well, Soul is certified fresh, baby, 95%. Mm. Well, I would I would stand by those ratings having watched both son you haven't seen uh either of these films yet have you no i what i will say though is that i was seriously considering upgrading and paying for an hbo max subscription just to see wonder woman and i'm sure <laughs> well i know but that's just to say, I've, I've heard from several people the same thing that they're <laughs> that it was completely not worth it and i didn't make that decision so it was like i kind of dodged a bullet and i'm like eh, i'll catch it later but I think there's going to be a lot of people that were either really irritated or were on the fence about making the decision. Is it worth signing up for an entire subscription for this one movie? And I think HBO did get a lot of subscriptions out of this. So, and if you guys have read, like the entire Warner Brothers catalog is going up for this. So I'm kind of, I know I don't think I'll watch. I, I'm not going to subscribe to HBO Max for this movie. I've heard nothing but really bad things about it. Yeah. Oh, you should subscribe to no. HBO Max because of all the. Other, other great things. movies coming. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. What about you, Amy? No, what, what... Really, I mean, dope because I feel like my one of my biggest thoughts after watching that movie was just like, man, I'm glad we at least didn't like, you know, I, I wish I, I would go see it in a theater just to get to be in a theater again. Hmm. But, you know, also kind of glad this wasn't one of those, you know, tickets and popcorn and it ended it was up that being bad. like a 50 or $60 night out because it was not great. I'm going to, I got to do a, I mean, I guess this could be the official unofficial review of it. I mean, we can do, we can have a little discussion about, look, the, <laughs> I went to the theater and saw uh, Wonder Woman 84. I mean, I, I was, I was begging joy. I, was, I want to support this movie. I want to, I want to get out into the theater again. I want to, I want to just, I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be meant to see in, uh, on the big screen. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole time we were sitting there, like as the as it just kept progressing when it got to that second act and the third I, I we we usually will talk to each other and when we're enjoying a movie we'll at least acknowledge that we're we, we were just we felt like just statues just stuck in chairs we felt like i felt like we were being held hostage watching this movie and it's, it felt like the movie was stretching to make a two hour and 25 minute run time. it had no business being as long insane. as it like, was why wouldn't you just cut this down to like an hour 50 and it might have it wouldn't have been good but at least it wouldn't have felt quite so like bloated let, let me ask you guys a question just, yeah. and this is just based on what i saw in the preview did the CGI on Cheetah look as bad as it did in the trailers? I'm, yes. I mentioned that on this channel, and I got shish kebabbed from, from people who, uh, saying, it's not going to look like that in the end. You, it looks horrible. I was, horrible. I was worried. I, I felt like that was a sign that if, I mean, why? I felt like that was a sign of what was to come because okay, but, you were showing but, us this, this, this scene, and it was so dark. And I was like, yeah, you can change it before the movie comes out. But what if they don't? What if this feels like a scene that they're, that they, that they're not going to uh, adjust or tweak? And if that happens, that's going to tell me a lot when I see this movie. Well, and it turned out my fear was right. But I'm sorry. What were you going to say, uh, Amy? Oh, I, I was hoping since last year the Cats movie uh, <laughs> seemed to have caused all this. I'd like to think that maybe that bad cat CGI is like the hard reset we needed somehow. <laughs> Because it, it was cat level, like, what am I looking at? It was rough. It it looked very cheap compared to what yeah. I know they spent on that. But I think it was probably $150, $200 million they spent on that movie. And it, it for my, I didn't see the movie, but for the little tidbits on the trailer, it did not look like a $200 million. It, it didn't. It, a it, lot of the, even like the 
the lasso looked kind of weird and cheap to me. Like, none of the CGI really impressed me. Like, it felt a little dated, which is weird, considering Because the first one, the effects were great on the yeah. first one. They yeah. lost, like, all the spark of the first one, and it was bizarre to see, like, to see um, someone get a movie so right, as Patty Jenkins did with the first one, and then just, like, lose everything. It's like, did you just forget what movie you made? Because, honestly, even just a little bit of a rehash and hitting some of those same beats like so, it would have worked so why if, do you think that they greenlit part three because everybody's talking about how fast well well one of the, one of the theories is that they greenlit part three uh so fast was because they they uh, for that uh, that compensation of having the, to go to um hbo max instead of going to uh the theaters was uh, hey if we if if you know you take this extra bonus you know you, you t you're probably going to take a, a pay cut from uh what you, this movie might have made but uh, to compensate for that, we'll give you this amount of money and we'll green light um, part three. It's, I it's, think you're right. I think that a lot of those actors were getting uh, percentages of the box office. Oh, yeah. Kind of went away. Yeah. Uh, Gal Gadot and uh, Patty Jenkins were, gonna, were getting a percentage out of it. So they, they gave them the equivalent of what the movie would have made if it made a, a billion dollars in the box office, which now I don't now I'm thinking Warner Brothers is like. Damn it! There's no way in the world I think this movie would have made a billion dollars in the box. It because the first one, the it it might have that first weekend maybe, but but with all those reviews that were coming out, I I, I don't know. I wouldn't have gone to see it. I yeah, I, 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 would, I, I it, think it. I wouldn't have paid to see it. I think it might have made just as much, if not maybe a tad bit more than what it made the first time, a little bit over, maybe somewhere between seven to nine. I doubt if it would have ever crossed the, the billion mark, but. But I, I think that's what. Look, one of the things I liked about the movie was Cheetah, not the not the the full cat version of it, but Kristen Wiig. I she was she was one of the things I loved about the movie. But ev everything else, it was. I mean, full there were just I there were so many moments in it. I was just going, why is this happening? What's going on? This doesn't. There was. It, it, it's not a complete mess, but it just never quite made sense to me, and it definitely never felt like an actual cohesive, like to be sitting to give up two and a half hours for a movie and leave kind of feeling like, I don't feel like I saw a movie. Like it just stuff happened, but it never quite gelled. But I just if, and if sorry if you guys if you uh, here's, here's some spoilers. So sorry, Sean, put some earmuffs on if uh, if. Uh... <laughs> Here's the thing, it, at least in the first movie, you know, you you got a little bit of a mystery of what's going on behind the scenes, who's pulling these strings, and then there was a big reveal of like uh, one of uh, the gods that was, you know, that that you know, was pulling the strings. And you never got that moment in this one. It was like, it was like, it made it seem like okay, it's you cheat as your main bad guy. Uh, Pascal is the other uh, uh, bad guy, but was he really? And then if there was this, there was if there was supposed to be this god or evil god entity that was pulling the strings uh, behind the scenes, at, it, at the whole time I'm watching the movie, I'm like, okay, at least I feel like at the end, at the very end of this movie, the that that uh, big old monster is about to burst out and go, ha, ah, you know, you can't take your damn wishes back. I'll kick your ass first. You know, yeah. you got to fight me. And that never happened. It's like it felt kind of small for what a big movie it was. the The villain was was the villain was just, uh, you know, just a, a wish, and the and and the yeah. and the hero of uh, against those wishes were just a speech. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it was all pretty pretty small and boring. That was. That I was will say, it. and I know we're probably running out of time for this segment but real quick caveat if you are going to put time into one of these movies i thought soul was fantastic lived up to the hype <laughs> super impressed it's, uh, victor brash i was like is the superman shirt the uh the wonder woman joke uh, without because uh, there is a part that i think sean would uh, I, I would like to get his opinion on it when he's if he if he does see it there is a moment in the movie where i thought this this could be a good Superman moment. Mm. And, and they, and I felt like they botched it. And, and mm. I was, when I was here seeing the reviews of it, uh, hearing the reviews about it, I thought that I heard a theory that if they do a third one, that maybe they'll try to take a, um, a, a cue from Thor, like make the, the third one, a buddy cop kind of thing. Like how Thor and Hulk, maybe they'll make the third one about uh, wonder woman and, and maybe Superman will be, be there. 
And I and I remember thinking to myself, that's a perfect opportunity to finally bring Wonder Woman from, you know, these past stories and bring her to the events for after Justice League. And if it's a buddy, if it's a, a story between uh, her and Superman, I'm like, oh, wow. Well, maybe maybe we'll finally get a full, you know, powered Wonder Woman where, you know, she actually can do everything that she can do in the comic book. And then there's uh, and there's a scene that just kind of just threw that theory out the window, and then they did it in a very poor way. I, I don't know if I'm being vague for no reason, Sean. If you don't mind, if I if, I don't know if I should even tell you. I'll, I'll <laughs> but go for it, man. <laughs> this like this is this, this attempt of like I don't know. All right, okay. You remember part one where she kind of flew a little bit? You remember yeah. that? Yeah. And they they kind of come back to that a little bit again. Yeah. And the way they did it, and I was like, you, you didn't did you? Did you need to drag it out? You, you dragged it out for ten minutes, and the question is still there: Can she fly? Yeah, it didn't totally. Again, another one of those. Like, why is this happening? It looked like she was lassoing lightning in the trailer. Yeah, or which was there. which was awesome. But when, but yeah. at least at least in the first movie, she did it like briefly, and it was like explained, or like she was super powered up and she flew a little bit, and I was like, yeah. okay, that was. And then she kind of does it again, but and then but the the flying lasts for like. 10 minutes and you're still left with the question but can she fly i think that was bad uh yeah it was a it was a definite like c minus mm. for sure did you did you get a chance to see soul chris i thought yeah I saw, I saw i saw soul first i was ho- i was trying to see wonder woman first i wound up seeing soul first because the kids wanted uh, wanted to see it Mm-hmm. I had a blast. And I, I just realized we went on a whole Wonder Woman rant. I forgot this was supposed to be about Wonder Woman and Soul. I literally <laughs> tried to do that earlier. Did, I, I felt you trying to pull us back into the real conversation, and <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm with everyone else. The um, uh, I was more excited to see Wonder Woman, but it turns out that I was happier to that I that I saw Soul, and I was happy yeah, that Soul I saw was, Soul first. Soul was genuinely just like. A lovely movie. <laughs> yeah. you, you said you and, saw and you saw Soul first. Like, what? You saw Soul first or second? I did. Yeah, okay. I watched them both at home. I gotta say, Soul I thought was fantastic. I think kids will like it fine, but there was a definite like, who is this for? Like it was so uh, heavy. It felt like a movie for adults that kids can handle. You know, mm. like a lot of the messaging and a lot of the the concepts it started delving into was like. This is heavy, and I'm a grown adult. Like, yeah. yeah, they 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 really went beyond the whole up uh, thing. Like you know when you yeah, yeah they went they went past the second that they They're had like, the we'll kill everybody we you love. I don't I don't care. The the, the second that they had the little children like uh, soul characters, you know, saying hell or like a joke. I laugh every time I think about. I th- that. I was like, oh, we're going there. This is this is, oh, this is going to be one of those Pixar movies. Yeah. Then you have was- to. But the thing you have to think of, like, okay, they're not, they're innocents, but they're not really children because they, they hadn't gone to earth yet. But, but still, technically, it was like, no, you got a bunch of little kids to go, hell, 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 hell. It was, it was, it was funny. Uh, we did, uh, we did ask on the community. We mm. posted a poll just asking, uh, what people watched, what they watched first between Soul and Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, it looks like 1% at the time of this taping, 1% watched Wonder Woman 84 in theaters, 6% watched Soul on Disney Plus first, 17% watched Wonder Woman on HBO Max, and a whopping 76% have not seen either. So, well, no, you don't need to. That's a, taught you yeah. everything. Bada boom. Oh, yeah, Sean, you haven't, uh, you haven't been here to, to notice in a while. The, uh, the, the community is, is voting a lot on stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're like, uh, you, you, you're going to have to you have to give us some uh, some questions to ask the community every now and then. Get some some polling questions. I've got some surprises coming up for you, Sean. So tr- trust me, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy uh-huh. what what's coming. I got a little I got a little surprise coming your way regarding the poll. But I'm not surprised that that the that the community hasn't, hasn't seen it. But um, well, I'm a, I'm a little surprised it's that one sided. You guys, I mean, yeah. It, do I regret? I I probably will watch Wonder Woman again. I would really? watch it if it was on if it was on Netflix or Amazon Prime, uh, like Borat Two did, or some of the other. I definitely would have watched it. Yeah, I, I don't regret having watched it once for free. I won't watch it again. <laughs> 
I will watch it again. I don't regret watching it uh, on at in the theaters because it was. It, I rolled the dice. It was. A, it was more likely based on the you first don't know movie until that it, you see it, it, it until anyway. you see it. Well, you know? But yeah, but I did regret watching it in the theaters after I was done. But <laughs> but I was I was so excited and I wanted it to. Be, it just it did not feel like the same universe. It didn't. This movie did not feel like like fifteen years later or twenty years later that you know Kal El would become the Man of Steel. And, you know, in the same universe and in Batman I, versus. I, don't, Superman, I, it didn't I really feel, don't believe that the DCU. Uh has just got that magic that the marvel has oh don't and, start that fight you know, no 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 i'm just saying <laughs> overall like it just seems like and, and i like the characters the characters better from dc than i do marvel but like the best let me ask you without giving any hints what what do you think is the best dc movie they ever made you mean in the dceu or dc yeah. period the dc character movie ever made the dark knight there you go and that's and that's what 90 percent of the people are going to say yeah, but then the, the the new Batman movies might might come out and might blow them all out the water. <laughs> I hope so. I do. I hope so. I'm, I don't know how much hope I have in our paths. Uh, we'll see. 